Okay, now, now let's proceed with uh, chemistry. Okay, let's have the first number. According to scientific method, uh, what needs to be done to move beyond conjecture or simple hypothesis? So simply saying, ano ang gagawin, gagawin natin if meron na tayong uh, an educated guess okay, or a hypothesis? What's the next uh, process? So is it uh, letter A, conduct a control experiment? B, find uh, a model with answers? C, make an educated guess? Or D, search for answers on the internet? So after you have a, uh, a hypothesis on a certain uh, a research, so the next thing that you will do is to letter A, conduct a controlled experiment. So this is the next one. Number two, what is the formula weight of magnesium hydroxide? It is an ingredient found in antacid. Okay? Usually, uh, last time yung uh, naglet ako, hindi lumabas ang keter ng magnesium hydroxide. So yung lumabas lang is yung antacid. Next, so next time, if ever you have a question like this that talks about antacid, always associate it with magnesium hydroxide. So what is the formula weight of this uh, magnesium hydroxide? So you need to memorize. Again, you need to memorize. So we have Mg, you have 24.31, or let's say just around it off with 24. O, 16, and H equals to 1. So finding the formula weight of magnesium hydroxide, or we have the uh, magnesium OH2. So we will just add the components up. So we have 1 Mg, um, 2 oxygen, and 2 hydrogen. So add them all up and you will get letter D, 58.3 uh, U. Okay? So if you have antacid on the problem, if you memorize this, go with 58.3. Number three, balance this equation. Usually, select um, always my 10 questions regarding about uh, no, balancing equations. Lalabas at lalabas po ito. So, usually mga 8 questions uh, about this type of uh, balancing. So, we have this CaCO2 uh, CAC2, H2O, and calcium hydroxide and C2H2. So, all you got to do is to simply compare the reactants versus the products. So, we have both ends. We have the same C2, we have the same calcium, and all we left is this, uh, we have hydrogen and oxygen. So on the reactant side, we have two hydrogen and one oxygen. And on the product side, we have uh, two hydrogen, two hydrogen again, and two oxygen. So if we sum this all up, we all we need is to add coefficient 2 on water to make this balance. So the answer should be 1, 2, 1, and 1. Because we are only adding coefficient 2 to balance the whole equation. Okay? This is number 3. Number 4. When the equation MnO2 plus CO, MnO2 plus CO2 is balanced, what is the sum of all written and understood coefficients? So again, ano yung sum ng lahat ng coefficients ito once it is balanced? Okay? Let's first balance the equation. MnO2 plus CO2 MnO2 plus CO2. So we have uh, 2 Mn2. So you, all we need is to balance it with the other side, with the reactor side. So we put 2 uh, coefficient 2, then tally up. So we have the same components or the same coefficients each. So therefore, if we add this all up, we have 2 plus 1, plus 1, and plus 1. We have letter D, 
five. Okay? D5. Number five. An atom contains 70 protons, 10 electrons, and 99 neutrons. What is its mass number? Okay? So let's have a review about this. Usually, lalabas talaga ito. Okay? So how do we do this? So the formula here is atomic number. It's always the num equals to the number of protons. The mass number, on the other hand, is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So how do we do this? To get the mass number, we simply add the protons, which is 70, and its neutrons, which is 99. And we get letter A, 169. Number 6. What would be the appropriate procedure to decrease the heat output of a fission reactor core? Okay? What would be the appropriate procedure to decrease the heat output of a fission reactor? If you don't really know this, you uh, probably would skip it and go to the next question. But for me, uh, lumabas po ito last time sa pagtake ko. At the moment that I have saw this, all uh, narelate ko po ito dahil ano, I have watched uh, the movie Chernobyl. Kasi uh, inexplain doon kung ano ang gagawin uh, to decrease the heat output that's why i know i know this uh, i know this uh, i know this question based on my uh, stock knowledge so if we if you saw this question if it, we talks we talk about fission reactor the answer here is letter c inserts the control rods faster because in a typical nuclear reactor we have this control rods here. So the moment that you insert the control rods further, it will close the fuel. So it will uh, it will control the uranium fuel to make it uh, to decrease the heat that it would uh, produce. Okay? So you should uh, in further insert the control rods down so that the heat output will decrease. Okay? Letter A should not be the answer because uh, removes a few fuel rods. It is uh, exactly like that. We cannot remove the fuel rods. Increase the le level of coolant. The water here is the coolant. So, if we increase or decrease the coolant, the coolant here is expectedly is constant so that the reactor will be on equilibrium okay that is how strict if ever we create a nuclear a fission reactor core okay so the answer here should be letter c further in insert the controllers number seven which of the following is the preferred name for na2so4 so na2so4 in naming this type of uh compounds we have to know we we need to know the prefix okay mono di tri tetra penta hexa hepta octa nona and deca as well as the formula okay in each of the cation and the anion so we have this na2so4 this is simply sodium so4 we have so4 we have Sulfate. Okay? The answer is letter C. Sodium sulfate. Number eight. What is the radius in nanometer of the electron orbit of hydrogen atom for N equals to 3? Okay? N equals to 3. So the formula that we need is this one. Okay? R equals to 0.529 times N squared over Z. And the answer should be, if we calculate this, is letter D, 0.477 Nm. Number 9. Skeptical chemist. Who is this? If may makikita kang skeptical chemist, always associate with it with Boyle. Letter A, Boyle. Skeptical chemist, field of chemistry, Boyle. Number 10. 
the following combinations of atom, either mix mixture, compound, molecule. If we arrange it in ascending order, the molecules are what? Okay, we have mixture, compound, and molecule. And in terms of molecules, in ascending order, the first one should be what? Should be three molecule. Next is compound, and next is mixture. So letter C. Okay, molecule to compound to make mixture if we say ascending order. So we will talk about, let's leave you about matter. Matter, if it can be physically separated, it is a mixture. Mixtures can be physically separated. But if it is a pure substance, it cannot be. And in terms of mixture, we will base it on comp uh, if, it, if its composition is uniform. If it is uniform, that is homogeneous. If it is not, that is heterogeneous. And in a heterogeneous mixture, we have colloids and suspension. In pure substance, we will base it upon its uh, decomposition. If compound, it can be chemically decomposed. And, and if it is an element, it cannot be chemically decomposed. So these are the things that you should know about matter. So objectively, parin, based on let number 11 what are the organic compounds that are used in perfumes 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 esters okay nalabas din ito sa gen ed actually number 12 the formula for lithium hydrogen carbonate lithium hydrogen carbonate carbonate co3 2 so we have CO3 to negative. That is letter D. L-I-H-C-O-3. Okay? Lithium hydrogen carbonate. Okay? CO3 to negative. Number 13. Gases can be compressed because molecules are what? Anong nangyayari sa molecules if in a state of matter with respect to gas? Okay? The molecules are what? Are letter D. Far apart. Okay, always moving is not the answer. Stationary is not also the answer. Small is a destructor. Okay, gases are molecules that are far apart. 14, how many covalent bonds does a carbon atom have? Carbon atom. Carbon atom is four. Okay, carbon atom is four. C4. Okay, C4. Remember that. Number 15. Which of the following is an ethyl group? Ethyl group. Okay? Memorize pa rin. Memorize nyo yung alkyl group at saka yung structure. If we talk about ethyl, we are talking about CH3, CH2. Letter C. Okay? Ethyl, CH3, CH2. Methyl, CH3. Okay? Ang lalabas lang dyan, either methyl or ethyl. Never mind the other ones. Okay? Never mind the other ones. Number 16. An iron nail can be turned into a temporary magnet if it is held in a strong magnetic field. Which method of magnetization is this? Iron nail. If we make it into a temporary magnet, what should we do? We will do induction. Okay? If we make it into a temporary magnet, an iron nail, we do induction. Induction, not conduction, not saturation, not charging. Number 17. Which material is the usual component of an anode? Again, anode. So we have this uh, figure here. Okay. So if we talk about anode, we talk about oxidation. And we have this element, we have zinc. Diba? Zinc dito. Pero ano ang kinukuha niya? The material here is copper. Okay? Pag anode, the usual component of the anode is copper. Pag cathode siya, the usual component is zinc. Okay? Electro, uh, electro, electrolysis bridge pa yun? Ah, basta. So, which material is the usual component of an anode? 
we talk about copper. Anode, copper, anode, zinc, cathode. Number 18. Which causes the warmth that you feel when you place your finger at the side of the flame? Okay? Pag, nila, uh, pag nilagay nyo yung kamay nyo within the flame or in the surrounding of the flame, you will feel the heat. So what uh, method, uh, what, what do you call that? That is what we call radiation. The heat coming from the candle radiates towards your hand and that's why you feel it. Okay? Number 19. Which state that when two systems are in thermal equilibrium with a third system, they are in thermal equilibrium with each other. Again, the key term here is two systems that are in thermal equilibrium in a third system. That is the zero law of thermodynamics. Okay, Two systems are in thermal equilibrium with a third system. Zero law of thermodynamics. Okay, Number 20. Element X has an electron configuration of 1s, 2s, 2p, 5. Based on the information, what belongs, what family belongs to this uh, element X? Okay? We have this uh, periodic table. Dapat kabisado nyo itong periodic table. So we have the S1, S2, P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6. So the last one here is P5. P5 belongs to the letter B, halogens. Okay? P5 B, halogens. P4, chalcogens. P3, nictogens. The C group P2 and the B group P1. S1, alkaline metals. S2, alkaline earth metals. Noble gases, P6. Remember this one. Lalabas at lalabas po ito. Number 21. What is the formula for lithium nitride? Lithium and nitride. Li plus and entry negative. So, cross, what will happen? We have Li3N. Okay? Lithium nitride, Li3N. 22. Which statement on electrons is true? If a body has what? Okay? Which statement on electrons is true if a body has what? Okay, let's try letter A. Excess of electrons. The object is said to be positively charged. Excess na nga ni electrons. ba electrons? Negative. So, so it should be negative. Diba? So this is false. Let's try uh, letter B. Less electrons than the number of protons in nuclear. The object said to be negatively charged. Less electrons na nga. It should be diba? positive. So the answer here is uh, between C or D. Let's try letter D. More or less electrons than are required to balance the positive charge of nuclei. The object has no electron, electronic charge. So therefore, di ba? Hindi siya pwede. So the answer is here. The answer here is letter C. The equal, an equal number of electrons and protons is equal is electric, electrically neutral sa mismo object na ito. Okay? Letter C. Number 23. Which of the following describes physical change as a process? Again, physical change as a process, is it uh, usually reversible? Physical change, ha? Physical change. Reversible ba siya? Yes, reversible siya. Kasi physical change, we can turn it again to the uh, former state. Okay? Number two, usually irreversible, reversible na nga. So, cancel two. Number three, does it produce new substances? Physical change. Does it produce? Physical nga. Walang nag-iiba. So, cancel three. Number four, it causes changes in the arrangement of particles. Yes or no? Ba physical change? Siyempre, may nawala sa kanya. May nag-change sa kanya physically. So, the arrangement of particles, the arrangement of particles are changing. So, the answer here is letter A. 1 and 4. Number 24. Which type of reaction does this general equation has? So, AB plus energy is to A plus B show. Okay? So, we have the energy on the product or reactant side. It is in the reactant side. So, if the energy is in reactant side, it is endo or exo? It is endo. Endo 
in the inside exo release. Okay? Energy nasa inside siya, nasa product so therefore endothermic siya. Okay? Endothermic. So we have letter C or letter D. Ano nangyari sa sa equation? 'Di ba? Nag-separate you nag-separate si A at si B or, or si AB. So therefore D AB here is decompose. So the answer is here uh letter D. Endothermic decomposition. Okay, letter D. Number 25. What results when a base and an acid react together? Okay? Base plus acid, anong lalabas? Number uh, I. Water is formed. Yes or no? Yes. May pro, um, may ipoproduce siya na water. Number two. Magpo-form ba siya ng salt? Yes. It will form salt. Number three. When a base and acid will form, it will react together, mag-release ba siya ng oxygen? Hindi. Hindi siya mag-release ng oxygen. Okay? Base plus acid equals neutralization, lalabas si water at si salt. So letter A. One and two. Number 26. What is the correct name, uh, compound for P4O6? P4, again, yung prefix, 4 equals Tetra, four tetra. So the answer is letter A. Tetra phosphorus hexoside. Hexoside hexo hexa six. Okay, four tetra six hexa. Okay, number twenty-seven. The reactions of hydrocarbons with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide, water, and heat is called what? The reaction oxygen. The oxygen. Nagre-react siya with hydrocarbons. Nag-produce siya ng carbon dioxide, water, and heat. So, ano nangyayari dito? Combustion. Okay? Combustion. Number 28. Physicians give patients immune-suppressing drugs after an organ transplant to prevent what? So, binibigyan tayo ng mga physicians ng mga immune-suppressing drugs after na change yung uh, organ. So, may organ transplant. Pakit. Para hindi mag-reject yung body. Sisa yung organ na nilagay sa body. Okay? For immune suppressing drugs, para hindi ma-reject. So, rejection of the transplant. Number 29. Which of the following are not examples of intermolecular forces? Again, Intermolecular forces. Okay? Not an example of intermolecular forces. Hydrogen bond. Intermacro. That is inter. London dispersion. Intermacro. Inter. Dipole, dipole. That is also inter. So, the answer here is letter B. Covalent bond forces. Because macromolecular forces po siya. Ay, no. Intramolecular forces po siya. Okay? The rest is intermolecular. Covalent, intramolecular. Not macro. Sorry. Number 30. Which of the following is the element represented by the symbol B? Okay. B is boron. Barium is BA. Bismuth is BI. Beryllium was BE. Number 31. The atoms in sugar are bound by what type of bond? Again, key term here is sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Covalent. Okay, sugar covalent bond. Number 32. Solids may be considered to be either crystalline or non-crystalline. The basic difference between them is that the crystal in contrast to a no crystal is what? So, how do we define if it is crystalline? It should have, it is, ang component po niya, ang yang atomic component should be regular, specific, ang molecular structure po niya is complete. Hindi siya uh, irregular. So, the answer should be here is letter D. Has a completely regular atomic or molecular structure. Kaya siya nag-crystallize. Kasi regular yung atomic structure niya. Okay? At complete. Number 33. According to bronsted lorry's definition, base is what? Okay? bronsted lorry Okay? Base is what? So let's try to uh, sum it up. We have acid base, we have Lewis, and we have Bronsted. If we talk about Lewis acid, accepts electrons. 
If we talk about Lewis base, it donates electrons. Bronsted acid, proton donor. Bronsted base, proton acceptor. So here, bronsted lorry definition, bronsted base, proton acceptor. Okay? Proton acceptor. Just memorize this one. Okay? Number 34. Or yung Leora at Jerawa. 34. Sucrose. An ordinary table sugar may classified as what? Okay? Disaccharide, poly, oligo, monosaccharide. Okay? From monosaccharide, let's try letter D. Mono, one. Mono, one. We have the three. Glucose, fructose, galactose. Oligosaccharide, from the word oligo, three to ten simple sugars ang meron sa kanya. Polysaccharide, from the word poly, equals more than. So the answer here should be letter A. Disaccharide. Sucrose is disaccharide partnered with maltose and lactose. Number 34. Ay, 35. The rate law expresses the rate of reaction in terms of the concentration of the what? Okay. Rate law. We have this formula. R equals to K A X B Y. Okay. So, rate law, rate reaction, concentration of this A and B. What are this A and B? These are the reactants. Okay? Basta rate law, yung A at B, reactants. 36. Atoms of elements in a group on the periodic table have similar properties. The similarity is most closely related to the atoms. What? Okay? Key term. In a group, and it has similar chemical properties. This is the, or it's, number of valence electrons. Again, group, similar chemical properties, valence electrons po yan. Number 37. The digestion of carbohydrates begins at the mouth. What enzyme is this? Enzyme. Basta mouth, enzyme, mouth, that is tialin. Okay? Letter D. Again, mouth, enzyme digestion, tialin. Letter D. Number 38. Tyndall effect can be demonstrated when light is passed through which of the following? When we say Tyndall effect, always associate it with colloidal suspension. Tyndall effect, colloidal suspension. Number 39. A group of covalently bonded atoms that acts like a single atom when combining with other atoms is referred to as okay, group of covalently bonded atoms. Group siya. So, meaning they are a polyatomic ion. Okay? Group of covalently bonded atoms act as one, acts as a single atom that is a polyatomic ion. Number 40. What is the process by which a heavy nucleus splits into a lighter nuclei? Again, heavy nucleus, nagspiplit siya para maproduce na energy. That is fission. That is not fusion. Fission kasi splitting. Fusion, splitting, fusion, combining. Number 41. Which scientist is referred to as the father of chemistry? Father of chemistry is Lavoisier. Okay, letter C. Father of geology, James Houghton. Kanina, di ba? Okay, number 42. In a solution, the substance present in, a lar in the largest amount is called sa isang solution. Say, for example, uh, you are making ice cold Milo. Diyan yung solution. Yung solute is yung Milo, yung solvent is yung water. Ano substance ang mas ma mas maraming mas maraming amount? Syempre si solvent. Si solvent yung largest amount in a solution. Number 43. Which one of the following properties are characteristics of all metals? All metals ha? all metals. All metals Conduct electricity well? No. Not all metals can conduct uh, electricity well. Is a solid at room temperature? Hindi lahat po ng metals ay solid sa room temperature. Transparent to lights? Hindi pa rin. Kasi maraming metals are not transparent to light. They, they are actually opaque. So the answer here is letter B. It conducts heat well. 
all metals conduct heat well. Okay? Number 44. Atoms attempt to require an outer orbital with eight electrons is a statement of what? Atoms attempt outer orbital, eight electrons. Automatically, pag alam mo to, eight electrons, eight, 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 octet rule, letter C. Okay? Eight electrons, octet rule. 45. Atoms are neither created nor destroyed. Neither created nor destroyed. Siyempre, obvious na. Law of conservation of mass. Law of conservation of mass. 47. Uh, 46. The sum of the atomic weights of all atoms in ammonia molecule. NH3 is called what? Sum sa atomic weights sa lahat ng atom ni N at si H. Ang sum niya is what we call the molecular weight. Okay? Puro objective ang lahat sa uh, chemistry, di ba? Pero some of which lalabas at least 15 questions of uh, problem solving. 47. The following represents an, represents an chemical, a chemical change. Except what? Okay? Which of the following is not a chemical change? Fusion of hydrogen. Chemical. Making of iron bar into magnet. That is physical. So the answer is letter B. Walang nangyayari na change in composition. Pag yung iron bar, tinuturn natin ito magnet. Okay? Anong process ngayon? Yung iron bar, tinuturn natin yung magnet. That is induction. Okay? C, burning. Pag burning, chemical. Pag rusting, chemical pa rin. Okay? Number 48. A chemical equation is balanced by changing. Chemical equation, pag-balancing, anong mangyayari? nag add tayo ng coefficient. So, letter C. nag add tayo ng coefficient para mag-balance yung product, products at sa reactant side. Number 49. A chemical reaction that absorbs energy. Chemical reaction. Nag-absorb ng energy. Ina-absorb niya ng energy which means nasa Reactant side yung energy. That is endothermic. Okay? Pag-release, exothermic. Number 50. Which is a material that speeds up a chemical reaction without being permanently changed by the reaction? Okay? Anong material ang nagpa-speed up sa chemical reaction? Okay? Pag-speed up, si catalyst po iyan. Speed up, si catalyst po iyan. Okay? Number 51. Ito. Problem solving. Pero tricky po ito. At lalabas po ito. I tell you. So, a 10 grams of salt is discovered in a 100 grams of water. The solution is left under the sun for 3 days. After 3 days, the mass of the solution is only 50 grams. How many grams of salt are there in the 50 gram solution? So, syempre, salt, ang nangyayari dito is um, there is evaporation. Okay? There is evaporation. So, ang mangyayari, ang grams na salt, kung sa former niya is 10 grams, after niyan, ang, ang, ang lalabas niyan is the same 10 grams of salt. Okay? Same pa rin. Kasi walang nag-iba sa composition niya. Okay? Because of physical separation. Number 50, a solid was changed to gas without passing through the liquid state by a process called solid. Solid to gas. Okay? Solid to gas without passing through the liquid state. That is sublimation. Okay? Sublimation. 53. Of the following states of matter, which has the weakest, weakest intermolecular force of fraction? Again, pag weakest, si gas po yan. Pag weakest, si gas po yan. Okay? Hindi si plasma. Okay? Number 54. An equal amount of solution of HCl and NaOH with the same concentration are mixed together. What will be the pH of the new solution? Okay? Equal amount of HCl and NaOH. Ano mangyayari? Diba? Diba? Like kanina. Acid plus base. It will be neutralized. It will form salt and water. What will happen to the pH if it is neutralized? No, uh, man neutralized po siya. 
it will move towards the pH of 7. Okay? It will move towards the pH of 7. Okay? Kasi nag-neutralize po siya. Number 55. What is the molarity of a solution containing 4 moles of NaOH on 2 liters of solution? Yung mga problem solving na lalabas po with respect to chemistry sa so physical uh, science, always the basic. Pag di mo alam yung basic, I tell you, mahihirapan po kayo. Okay? So, basic, uh, we have the formula of formularity. Mole of solute over volume. Okay? So, simply saying, we have the four, four moles of NaOH over 2. So, the answer is letter D, 2.0. Okay? 2.0. Molarity, M, I, molarity equals to N over V. Solute over volume of solution. 56. When cleaning the toilet bowl using strong acid, it is harmful to inhale. To avoid its effect, dilute it with water. If the volume of the acid is 350 ml and water is 650 ml, ano ang concentration ng solution? Okay. What we need to find here is the concentration of solution. So we have to use the formula, percent volume. Okay? Volume of solute over volume of solution. Simple as that. So volume of solute, 350 over uh, 1,000. Diba? 1,000 equals to what? 35%, which is letter B. Okay? 35% which is let, letter D. Bakit 1,000? Dahil 650 plus 350. Volume po sa solution ang need natin. So, 1,000 yung volume niya. Kasi 650 plus 350. Okay? Huwag malito. Kasi usually, pag dinalian natin, 350 over 650 yung uh, sinusulat po natin. Hindi. 350 over 650 plus 350 equals to 35%. Number 57. The volume of a confined gas is 10 liters when it when its pressure is 1 atm. How much pressure must be applied to reduce its volume to 5 liters at the same temperature? Okay? The problem states that it has a same temperature. So, ang nilalaro lang natin is yung pressure at si volume. And we will use the Boyle's law, P1, V1, goes to P2, V2. So, we are, we need to find P2, which is 10 liters times 1 atm over 5 liters. And it will produce 2 atm, which is letter C. Okay? Let's go to number 58. The number of neutrons and electrons of an atom with an atomic mass of 75 and atomic number of 37. Again, nakakalito pa rin ito. Okay? Just remember, atomic number equals number of protons, mass number, number of protons plus number of neutrons. And we need to find the number of neutrons here. So mass number minus number of protons and we will have 75 minus 37 equals to 38 neutrons. Okay? We have 37 electrons kasi 37 yung protons niya. And according to its atomic number, which is 37. Okay? Sige. Number four, 59. Which of the following is a physical change? Again, physical change. Digestion of food. Okay? Sa stomach mo, chemical change po yun. Fermentation. Chemical change pa rin yun. From manure. Diba? Ang output is methane. Chemical change po yun. So the answer here is distillation. Letter B. Number 60. Nitrogen gas reacts with hydrogen gas to produce ammonia. How many grams of H2 are needed to react with 2.5 moles of N2? So, what do we need to do first? Okay? To write the equation. So, we have reaction of nitrogen plus hydrogen. And we will get NH3, which is ammonia. Okay? So, anong next? Tama po, da, tama po ba ito? We need to balance this muna. So, we need to balance here. We need to add 3 
in H2. Okay? Para balance po siya. After this, uh, we need to solve. Okay? One mole of uh, N2 is to 3 moles of H2. 2.5 moles of N2 as given. And we need to find the mole H2. Okay? Next. Solving na tayo. So, to solve this, sim sim simply cross multiply. Okay? 1 over 3 equals 2.5 over x. And we will get 7.5 mole H2. Okay, sir. 7.5 mole. Wala sa choices. Okay? Ano na, ang, anong nangyayari? Diba? Grams H2 po kasi yung hinahanap natin. Hindi yung mole H2. So, we need to convert mole H2 to grams H2. Okay? So, 2 grams of H2 is equivalent to 1 mole of H2. So, 7.5 times 2 is equivalent to 15 grams of H2. Letter A. Okay? Number 61. All of the following equations are single replacement reactions. Except what? Single replacement. So, ito yung single replacement. Okay? Nag-iba lang yung uh, yung A at yung BC to transfer si B sa other side. Okay? So, A plus B to B plus AC. Which of the following here? This is letter B. Na2O plus CO2. Okay? Single replacement. Okay? Except single replacement. F plus 2KCL, 2KF, that is single replacement. Zn plus HTO, H2SO4 is to Zn uh, zinc sulfide. That is not a single replacement as well as letter D. So the answer is letter B. Okay, number 62. Some carbonates like uh, limestone, when heated, yield carbon dioxide. What type of chemical reaction is shown? Okay, limestone, pag i-heat natin siya, mag i siya ng carbon dioxide. Limestone is calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate, CaCO3. Okay, it will form carbon dioxide and calcium oxide. So, anong, anong nangyayari dito sa equation? It is a decomposition reaction. Letter A. Okay? Nag-decompose si CaCO3 or si calcium carbonate to form two new products. Number 63. The correct coefficient for the equation KClO3 and KLC, KCl plus O2 are what? So, again, balancing. If we balance this, we will get 2, 2, and 3. Letter A. Number 64. The molecular weight of sulfuric acid, H2SO4, is what? Okay? Molecular weight. Need natin malaman si H, si S, at si O. H is equivalent to 1. Remember this, sulfur is equivalent to 32 and O again is 16. So molecular weight, summing it all up, we will have na letter C, 98U. Okay? 98U. Letter C. Number 64. The half-life of A is 10 hours while that of B is 20 hours. Which statement is correct? So mas maliit yung half-life ni A compared ni letter B. So, meaning to say that letter B, A decays faster than B. Kasi 10 hours lang siya compared to 20 hours of that letter B. Okay, number 66. Brass is an alloy of what metal? Brass. Always remember, brass, copper, and zinc. Brass, CZ. Brass, CZ. If we talk about bronze, Copper and tin, CT. Bronze, CT. Brass, CZ. Bronze, CT. Number 67. How many protons are present if an atom has a mass number of 23 and atomic number of 11? Okay? Atomic number of 11. Protons yung 
needed natin. Meron na tayong atomic number of 11. Di ba? Atomic number is equivalent to the number of protons itself. So therefore, the answer here is letter A, 11. 68. What is the mass percent of Na2SO4 in a solution made by dissolving 25 grams of Na2SO4 in 225 grams of water? Okay? Mass percent yung uh, need natin. So, we need to uh, have this formula. Mass solute over mass solution. Okay? We have 25 grams of solute and 250 grams of solution. So, therefore, 225 plus 25 po yung 250. So, therefore, uh, to calculate this, we have letter C, 10%. Number 70. Which factor affects the rate of dissolution when powdered sugar dissolves, dissolves more rapidly than granulated sugar? So, powdered, mas mabilis po yung uh, dissolution rate niya compared sa yung malalaking sugar. So, in comparison, ano yung kinocompare natin sa dalawa? Da, kung bakit uh, mas madaling madissolve yung gran, uh, powdered compared sa granulated. Anong difference sa dalawa between powdered and granulated? Yung particle size niya. The smaller the particle size, the faster the rate of dissolution. Okay? Number 71. How many moles of iron does 25 grams of Fe represent? So, we have a hint here. Usually po, pag hindi po uh, common yung element, Mirarite po ni PRC yung hint. So, Fe, we have 55.85. So, what we will do is to calculate 1 mole Fe equals to 55.85 and we have 25 grams of iron. Okay? We need to convert it to mole. So, we have 0.448 mole which is letter A. 72. Which of the following is the most acidic? Most acidic. All of the all of the choices are actually acidic. So you need to memorize. Okay? Memorize. Urine is 5.93. Calamansi juice is 2.32. Vinegar is 2.65. And carbonated drink is 2.91. So the most acidic here is calamansi juice. So letter B. Number 73, which of the following refrigerant has the maximum ozone deple depletion potential in the asthma, atmosphere, uh, stratosphere? Rather. So refrigerant, is it ammonia, carbon dioxide, fluorine, or sulfur dioxide? Remember the CFCs, the chlorofluorocarbons. So chlorofluorocarbons, we have letter C, fluorine. Letter C, fluorine. Number 74. Sodium chloride conducts electricity when dissolved in water. What time of bond is present in NaCl? Again, keyword, conducts electricity. If my conduction of electricity, ang nangyayari dyan is an ionic bond. Ionic bond. Number 75. How do solutions differ from compounds? How do solutions differ from compounds? Okay, let's try letter A. Solutions are heterogeneous mixtures. Compounds are homogeneous. Okay, ang solutions ba are heterogeneous? No, solutions are actually homogeneous. Okay, number, uh, let's try letter D. Um, solutions are formed in chemical reactions. Compounds combined physically. Okay. Are solutions are formed by chemical reactions? No, they are formed by physical reactions. So we have B and C. Okay, from B and C, the answer here is letter B. Solutions vary in composition and compounds have definite composition. Okay, solutions vary in composition. And compounds have definite composition. Number 76. What are elements in groups 1A through 8A called? Again, 1A hanggang 8A. Anong tawag dyan? Okay? 1A to 8A. 
these are what we call this one, 1A to 8A. These are representative elements, letter A. Number 77. How many valence electrons does the element oxygen have? Valence electrons does the element oxygen have? Oxygen. Okay, oxygen is in group 6. Group 6, so letter D. 6 valence electrons. Po si oxygen. Number 78. Which of these is the preferred name for CS2? Okay, CS2, carbon and sulfide. Okay, carbon sulfide. But S2, so this is disulfide. Carbon disulfide. Number 79. Which of the following is the correct set of properties of bases? Again, we are talking about bases. And bases compared to acidic, they are bitter in taste, they are corrosive, and red to blue. Okay? A blue to red, rather. Ah, mali ito. Which of the following is the correct set of properties of bases? Okay, bases pala. So, the answer here is letter C. Okay, typo. So, letter C, it has a bitter, state, bitter taste kasi base. Slippery po siya. And from red to blue. So, letter C. Bases, letter C. Number 81. When a solution of an acid and base are mixed together, again, ulit-ulit, acid and base, mag-neutralize. And ano mangyayari? Mag-form mag ng salt and water. They will lose their acid and base kasi man-neutralize po siya. And C is correct. So the answer here is letter D, all of the above. Number 82. How many sodium atoms are in 2 moles of sodium? Sodium atoms are in 2 moles of sodium. So we have 2 moles of uh, sodium. Then the Avogadro's number, um, 6.02 times 10 to the 23 units. So, 6 times 2, we have uh, 12. So, letter C. 1.20 times 10 to the 24. Number 83. What is the molarity uh, when 0.5 moles of HCl is dissolved in 250 ml of water? Okay? We are... we. Need to find the molarity. Okay? So, molarity of water, we have, again, 2.0 M. So, all we have to do is to uh, divide 0. 0.5 and 0. 0.25, which we have 2.0 M. 84. An alkane with four carbon atoms would have how many hydrogen atoms in each molecule? Alkane. With four carbon atoms, my four carbon atoms. So we have the formula CnH2n plus two. So we have four for n. Amang yari dito is C4H8. Hey, ano po? Plus ten. C4H10. So how many hydro hydrogen atoms we have? Letter B, eight. Letter B, eight. Four carbon atoms. Four. 4 times 2, 8 plus 10. Ah, dapat 10. C, 4, H, 10. Letter C. Okay? Letter C. 10 po. Number 85. Last number. A petroleum product that is composed of hydrogen hydrocarbons with 12 to 15 carbon atoms per molecule. 12, 12 to 15 carbon molecule, uh, 12 to 15 carbon atoms, we have letter B. Kerosene. Kerosene, 12 to 15 carbon atoms. Gasoline, 5 to 12. And motor oil. Ito po yung lumabas last time. Motor oil, 16 to 18. Again, 15, 12 to 15 kerosene, 16 to 18 motor oil, and 5 to 12 gasoline. Paraffin wax and asphalt, um, greater than 20 and greater than 36 po si asphalt. Okay? So, that's all for chemistry.